Welcome back to Odin Sphere. Welcome back to the plot. Also, rabbits. A great storm Welcome to a great storm. Our land ever since the disaster. It seems that there's a tremendous amount of magical. You know, I brought it before they're talking the about the plot a whole lot here, but because the upon forethought, active. it makes you wonder why they're not talking about it in everyone else's chapters. Like if there's like a whole end of the world scenario going on in the background. That doesn't get a lot of screen time until now. Let's continue the um the other nations. ones are character studies because it's their story. The what is the thing about Vel not Velvet's story? It is Velvet's story, but Velvet's story is also the encircling plot. And I'm just saying that Gwendolyn's whole story was her being a terrible Disney princess. Cornelius was him being a baleful polymorph, and Mercedes was her being terrible. None of them been really involved in plot, especially Mercedes. She's the worst contender. Yeah. Her, her thing Both did not involve the plot at all, and later in the game, her thing doesn't involve plot either, really. Hmm? The, the, the funny thing about Mercedes, the entire reason Mercedes exists, is to validate one NPC's side plot and something in the final battle. I know, and it's really what? dumb. What can I... Now it's time for cooking. <laughs> churros! It's time, it's time to eat a whole bunch of churros! Ah, uh, we're only getting out one, because I don't have a lot of Valentinian silver. Oh. Wow, that rabbit really hustles. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, like, it's on fast I'm forward. at the that point of the sense. game where I'm just fast-forwarding it. Will this be all for you? I mean, shit, if I get that much EXP from Mature, I'm probably, like, level 28 right now. Don't you know that the greatest warriors eat a great deal of churros every day? Look, let me tell you, man, churros are fucking great. Even, like, the kind of kind of mediocre ones you get at Jack in the Box, those are still good. I mean, yeah, it's, it's just a Hispanic donut, a great essentially. Storm has raged against our land. Uh, Jack in the Box needs to add more, sh more uh, cinnamon sugar, though. I just don't eat a Jack in the Box in Hello, the first princess. place. Business is going very mm. well. I don't know. This like, I kind of do because it's, like, right next to my work. So that's a reason to. I, I avoid fast food if at all possible in general. By the way, it's time for mangoes. I mean, muggles. Everything is an analog of some fruit here. I mean, it's delicious. Mulberries mango. are actually... Mulberries are an actual berry, I believe. Store, the I'm muggle. I have a mango on my counter right now, and I'm comparing the two side by side. This is accurate. I just love this idea of my co-commentator holding a melon and staring at his monitor. It's a mango. It's not a melon. Right. What are fruits? I mean, Muggle uh, seeds are the worst because you could never get rid of these stupid things. Yeah, I remember that in the original too. You just replant them repeatedly. With this infinite exp, if infinite mango. The mulberry is the main reason why Fozon is such a is such a shortage. All of the world's Fozons are going into mulberries. Also, I never noticed this. I just looked at the background for. a for a split second, uh, the underground Valentine village is actually pretty fucking huge. Yeah, it's a little gigantic. How do people not know about this? Look, I have look, so when, many when questions about the uh, about the authenticity of the plot. Look, when an entire continent gets turbo nuked, you just don't touch it anymore. I mean, where did they find space for this giant? Like, it's essentially a necropolis at this point. Oh They've hey, done... speaking, of, speaking of Mercedes being terrible, welcome to the forest. Oh yeah, I forgot we're going to Ringford. The... She went to Ringford, the, the forest name I took for a D&D &D session but because I so panicked dangerous. and couldn't think of a name. Oh, I'm so really? nervous. I was working on Odin Sphere at the time, I was like, uh, you find yourself at, uh, uh, uh Ringford. Nearby. Shit. She's been looking I mean, it's not as bad as all the darkest under references tried put into it. Yeah. Besides, all my DM does is make up French words. Why are you so frightened? My grandfather, King Valentine, has escaped. You know, here's the thing: How does she know this? Because they told her last chapter. Did they? I must have missed that. Oh, Det brought it up. Oh, the the whole clawing the eye out. And yeah, claws okay. that and took his way. The more important part was that he left. The eye is unimportant. And considering it is King Valentine, everyone shits their pants upon hearing his name. I do not know. It's impossible to speculate the It's like saying Jason Voorhees escaped the camp. 
No, Jason Voorhees is, uh, is not as dangerous. You know Jason Voorhees will just come at you with a knife. King Gallon will get like a fucking laser pot going to end the world. Hmm. Valentine, not Gallon. Valentine, excuse me. There are Gallon kings. is stuck there. He is not getting yeah, out. Gallon is down there. Gallon he worked up the a scroll at us. I remember that. That my grandfather was wearing. Indeed, the ring of Titrell. Now I don't think anybody has actually the read the, the, the stage no play this was based on, but in Ring of the Nibbling, was that the name of the ring? Where is this ring now? I don't believe so. It's in the Granted, I read it before, but it was a very long time taken. ago. That was yeah, back if in anybody high read it, it was either like during high school when you didn't care, or or a long time ago. I would rather fight against death than wait for my cursed destiny to take me. I know a man who can magically send himself there. If I asked him... If you're discovered, all Puka will be labeled as criminals. Please, do not tell anyone of really? this. Really? I don't want anyone Couldn't be like a rogue involved. agent or anything? Hmm. You just like it? Moving in the shadows will not hide you from the fairies for long. Yeah, they're kind of assholes. That is when this they're also moving in the shadows me. at all times. That's why they live in the forest. Let me tell you about the fucking elf paladin, that piece of shit. We're gonna turn this into a D and D episode, or is it stick? No, to no, no. Here? The actual enemy elf paladin here sucks ass. Oh, oh yeah. Wait, see, I don't even like. It's a unicorn. No, no, no. The other one, the not boss, oh. the palette swap of the grunt. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Those, those, those have names. Okay. Yeah, believe it or not. See, wait, now this, I thought this you hurts. The unicorn. the unicorn is terrible. This hurts right here. Ah. <laughs> well, I cry every time I use a turnip for not an ice potion. You you couldn't just get a knife or something? Yeah, huh? That's really weird. Ciphers are pretty sharp. Why don't you just use that? Or I don't know. We have a cipher that makes fire. Let's burn this forest down. You know, I'd get behind that even if it wasn't a velvet story. Just this place is terrible. It's not so bad, but yeah, it's not great. Okay, no, the the level itself, its design is okay. I just don't like the NPCs that reside in it. Oh no! I've been waylaid by a carrot. Well, bye. Can't believe I lost my S ring due to a carrot. I never noticed how floaty some enemies are when they get juggled by Velvet. She, she herself is very floaty, too. She spins around with everything she does, apparently. Remember I said that this is just Blaze? Yep. It, it it's is. just Blaze. Like, I notice actually... that more and more watching, she just spins around constantly. That's the whole way she fights. She's a... Well, the big thing about Velvet is that her initial design was going to be a dancer, and they just kind of stuck with that. I couldn't tell. Yeah, huh. Subtlety, as it were. I should get that art book and come back. There's a lot of really neat design concepts. Like, Gwendolyn's original design was, like, gonna be green and orange. She was gonna be, like, a pumpkin princess. Oh, that's... Those those colors do not go together. Let me, let me double check that. I mean, maybe for pumpkins, but... N not so much for people. Get that art book here. Let's, let's take a look. As a, as the as we look at the most weirdly underutilized uh, mechanic here, it's only in this one stage, and it isn't even used like. It's not used in like a dangerous way. Like you're not forced to go through fights with that status effect to progress. I mean, if you did, you just... it'd be kind of terrible. So. Oh, I was wrong. There, it's not so much orange and green, it's just that there's a lot more orange on her design compared to the, to the uh, current version. I hear that music. I'm hoping Mori is going to be here. Nope. Oh. Uh, Mori never appears until, like, chapter 3 or 4. Ah. Which is, you're the princess of the Puka. Why can't you get the good Puka to show up? I mean, they're all pretty good, he, but that one. He's a rogue agent. He doesn't yeah, operate by Valentine's please, rules. Can we please get Mori to smuggle us into the elf forest in his bag of table? That'd be the funniest thing for a ch for a chapter introduction. The chapter opens up with just more like, Hey, yup! And then, Val and then Valentine just stumbles out. He, he just pulls the whole table out and three seconds later just comes out from under the table. It's just like, how do you do all this? <laughs> He's very good at packing. Princess, what brings you? 
We already know your dialogue. So, a thing I realized from sh last chapter that I never quite elaborated on. Last chapter we had a chance to buy the shield ring. Now the shield ring is a 5% auto block chance. It's really nice for this kind of gameplay when one errant um, hit can kill you and having that chance to block is really nice. Um, I didn't buy it because I thought I would get it in the dungeon. I never did. But I believe there is some footage, footage in this uh, episode that leads me to believe that by default you actually have a auto block chance by uh, just by nature. It, maybe it's stat related? Maybe. Sounds like something it would be, because Velvet's not the blockiest character. No one really is the blockiest character. Blocking this game is kind of a liability with Cornelius, how... Cornelius, maybe? I mean, people have stuff related to block, but blocking in this game has like a two-second wind-up, so it's not really conducive when you can just do this. I'm just saying, in terms of characters being like defensive naturally, the most defensive is probably Cornelius. Yeah. Oh yeah, Cornelius does have a skill where if he blocks it and you just press forward, he dashes forward with an attack. Yeah. I think Gwendolyn has that too. She, I believe she does, yeah. I oh, yeah, just dump seeds in a bottle, get pose on, so let's wait for it. Get rid of the mangoes! Potion of they, mango! Uh, they nerfed the hell out of extra pose ons compared to the original. Ah. Remember back in the day you when you make a like a... shiny bit back there. Yeah, yeah, that's two dollars, that's never gonna come back. But yeah, um, back in the day when you played the original, you would get like a ninety, a uh, a material that's like ninety three, some inordinately high number. Yeah. And you also make extra phosons, and you get like a hundred fifty phosons in your bank. I remember it was awesome. Yeah, and that stopped. You don't get uh phosons from alchemy anymore, and extra phosons only gives you twenty tops. Ah, that's a shame. There's a. There is another way to get Fozons relatively easy. I can't remember off the top of my head, though. In general, though, Fozons are not really a problem in this game. Why did you go back and dwarf yourself? You need to to go through that crack. It's it's the underutilized mechanic I was talking about. Ah, I see. Oh, and mid-boss. Now, here's, here's an actually miserable boss. I had to replay this shit like eight times. I always like this boss because it turns into a giant swole mushroom. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the design for the mushroom is really weird. You have the little tiny goblin thing, then you have this demure mushroom wizard that knows kung fu, then you just have a walking fist. I like the walking fist a lot, but isn't it supposed to start in the tiny state anyway? It didn't this time. Um, it Its starting state varies on each character. I believe Oswald had its start on um, big mode. Gwendolyn fought the tiny mushroom. Huh. And we get the hardest version, because oh my god, I hate this. Actually, no, I lied. I hate you this. You just go into town on it there, I mean, that's what the problem Yeah, when was. she... I think the thing is, when she was um, on fire, she was technically being hit-stunned. Yeah. And then when I was hitting her, she was also getting hit stunned in the middle of her transform animation. So that was a pretty good moment. Yeah, you're just wailing on her. I don't see what the problem is. Uh, I don't like fighting the big guy because he is zoning supreme. Now, when you're playing normally, this isn't really a problem. In champion mode, that sucks. I mean, even then, isn't Velvet kind of about zoning? Yeah, but, um... Big guy's fist outranges you by uh, by screens. Luckily, she uh, luckily they just go right back to being this thing. Oh hey, and a cyclone to use. Yeah, didn't have to use that cyclone a while ago. Now here's a great combo: fire pillar into flare shot. If she would have stayed still. Did I get hit by that? I couldn't tell. I wanted to say you did, but you didn't take damage. Also, that pause there was quite literally a fat finger. <laughs> Flare shot, really fucking good. Like, every special she has seems really good, actually. Yeah, no, but there is one that I just find well and beyond her best skill, and I think we get it this chapter. Oh boy. No, no, yeah, we do. Oh boy. Ah, it's the tiny thing.
The tiny thing is actually not that much of a threat. The yeah, only problem I don't know is what you're um, even doing. I'm trying not to get hit because I don't want to lose my S rank. I mean, besides that, was it doing just blowing smoke on you? Yeah, it was the uh, AoE. That thing right there, though, that can hit you in weird ways. Seems like it. Get crit. It By just the way, seems unnecessary. Well, let me tell you about unnecessary. Aww. Just beating up on this poor defenseless shroom corpse. Look, I had to redo that fight four times. I was a little upset. Well, I mean, you did learn the best way to fight a mushroom was just to burn it repeatedly. Yeah. I mean, we learned that in Dragon's Crown. Yeah, man, we need to do more of that. Ah, uh, yeah. I'd love it. I... <laughs> I forgot I did that. That's the game where the fighter is shaped like a triangle. Yeah. There's a lot of fun design choices in that game. The dwarf is just a beard and muscle. That's a good dwarf. That's that's just what all dwarves should be and strive to be, is a bearded muscle. <laughs> that came out stranger than I thought it did. <laughs> Let, let's, let's, let's backspace there and just say a great bearded bicep. The bearded muscle, the strangest aquatic life. It does Actually, kind of isn't sound it? like that. Isn't that already a thing? A bearded cleanser thing. Yeah. Not so much the muscles, not many bivalves have facial hair. Is this it? I think this is it. You tell me. So what if I told you Velvet was a grappler? Oh, no, I know what you're talking about now. Okay, yeah, this one is awesome. The best part, the invincibility frames are idiotic. Now can you suplex the cauldron? No, no, you can't. That um, just seems bosses... like a waste right there. Well, I'm showing it off, but yeah, um, bosses have a state where they're too heavy to be grappled. I know, it's, a shame. Just, it's, it's hilarious to think about. <laughs> this solved the problem. Chain it and swing it. Uh, ring, the ring of Tetrell, what if I hook it into space? So These... these... These boxes are really weird in that the enemies here and you're not- There's enemies here that are super weak and you're not being graded for them. Yeah, speaking of, why are all of the fairies attacking you again? You're an intruder. Like, this is basically you're going into Ringford and they're just like, INTRUDER! Do they do this to everybody? I mean, I know they have a grudge with the with the Odin Corps, but... I... Everybody who walks in the forest, that seems a bit unnecessary. So, let me tell you about a bullshit boss fight. Yeah, hey, it's that unicorn I talked about earlier. No, well, it doesn't help that he has two healers, two two casters as well, and um, the first phase of this fight, the uh, the healers respawn three times. Ugh. That just seems unnecessary. Like that's not fun. Yeah, it almost sounds it almost sounds like a uh, it almost sounds like a DM that that makes their their boss survive DC 32 throws. That's an uh. inside joke. But yeah, this is this fight really sucks because there's a lot of casters, there's a lot of healers, that fucking paladin, and there's three waves of them. Why well, you gotta bring back bad memory? Oh man, that's a good move. I love that move. So I actually fucked up there. You can chain that three to seven times based on how much you've upgraded it. Yep. I know, but it just feels so good. And the kicker is that invincibility frames. It is so mean. <laughs> now, I, I bring this up for a reason. It fucking stomps those paladins. Yeah, those I can imagine. Can you like use those jackasses that though. don't hit stun, they're dead. And now, just fighting this pain in the ass. But if only you could grapple the unicorn. Oh, wouldn't that be great? Okay, so are there, any, are there any bosses that are not too heavy to grapple? Oh, let me think. Um, no, 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 no. I think they're all too heavy to grapple. I think by default, um, they make bosses have the heavy trait. Maybe Mercedes? No, no, Mercedes. What about, what about Bellador? Mercedes should Which not be was, that heavy. Which one was Bellador again? One of the wizards? 
Oh yeah, no. The moment you hit him, he teleports away. I remember that originally he would do that for every single hit, it was terrible. Yeah. It, it's kind of the same. Yeah, this fight's dangerous. Your handling adds and all of a sudden just fucking unicorn drop from the sky. They do that it. too, it's it's kind of a it's it's a hell of a unicorn. Now, if you're clever, you could actually use the um, opening animation from a uh, from the sling chain to avoid that, because even the opening animation has long invincibility frames. So you just use the move to keep from getting hit. Because if you can pause at any time, that's actually really useful. I'm kind of surprised I still have an S rank, honestly. I am too. You've almost died like three times now. Well, when you only have 100 HP, that's kind of the given. Oh, that fight sucks. See, Is when we started this LP, like, six years ago, I thought that S-ranking heroic mode was going to be a really impressive thing. It's mainly the main thing, it's just a matter of you can't get hit anymore. Now, the big, the big issue is that, um... I forget what the mode is in Muramasa, but that one is worse because you only have one HP in that mode. Dante must die mode? Yeah, basically, if you get hit, you're fucking gone. Now, here's a concept I wanted to see in this game that never happened. Uh, kind of like a DLC mode where you're just a tiny character fighting Big Mandragora. That'd be very That's... silly, and I'd be very fond of it. Skippy and me were also joking about a Mandragora DLC plot. Yeah, there was one, be... it was one of those. It was, it was, I think it was talking about Attorney in that one. Yeah. I would play DLC tourney. It's as good as the time that you fight as a farmer in Muramasa. Oh, Ganbei was weird, man. It's it's like an old traditional story is the thing. A lot of Muramasa is. And um, amusingly enough, um, Neo follows that same trend of taking old Japanese stories and playing with them. One of my favorite ones being the Ninja Death House. Well, the thing about Neo is that you're Tom Cruise fighting a bunch of, or a bunch of Japanese yokai. Everybody says that, but he looks nothing like Tom Cruise. Okay, look, Tom Cruise was the last samurai. I don't care how he looks. <laughs> but there's still samurai in Neo. He's not the last samurai. William's just a white dude chasing another white dude. Okay, in look, Japan. when you're done, he'll be the last samurai. Oh, fuck off, you fucking paladin. You just gotta grapple him. Yeah, that is pretty much the answer to paladins, and it's almost frustrating. Really, it should be the answer to everything. I mean, I want a game where you can suplex the bosses. Dragon's Crown. Oh, no, not Dragon's Crown. No, they just give Dra you a thing to suplex onto the bosses, which is almost as good. Yeah, you get barrels and boulders. So that, well, we can't let you suplex the dragon, but what if we give you a big rock to suplex onto the dragon? Oh, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, so Velvet's skills actually go really well together. Like, if you just do Fire Pillar and then use a Dancing Chain to lock him in place, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, like, for instance, she seems really weak damage-wise, but she seems really well-rounded in how she does attacks. Yeah. By the way, there were three Paladins in this mob. And those fuckers just spamming the shit out of Shockwaves. Yeah. Really irritating. Aren't they supposed to stop getting Sword Beams once they're lower than max HP? You'd think that, but no, Elves cheat. See, elves are terrible. That's what I've been saying this whole time. Yeah. I like elves in Divinity 2 because they're openly terrible. Well, <laughs> or, they're no, weird. Divinity Original Sin 2. They're, they're the same canon. It's 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 the, the Divinity series. It has the same yeah. universe. But, like, yeah, elves in that are different because, I mean, they're, they're cannibals for one. But it's not that they're cannibals. They're, they're more or less trees. So they just have different oh, moralities. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's it's not, right. It's not weird if a tree eats a person, right? I mean, yeah, it is kind of weird, but still. So they call it Venus flytrap. That, those don't eat people. Those eat flies. Yeah. I do have enough. I do want to see you upgrade the grapple event just to start hucking things back and forth for a solid ten seconds. Oh, that's so tempting, but, like, my objective usually is to max out Cypher first. Yeah, but it would be fun. So let's see me be bad at puzzles. Yeah, the skill I mean, for th new there. The, the secret mission for this is described as 
down the down the tall path just past the uh past the shell. You think there's a mic no, no. in this box? <laughs> That's a fucking in joke. You gave me one. But yeah, um I remember I initially recorded this like three months back and then the data got corrupted and I got really pissy and didn't record for another three months. Well, and then I was three just, months like, before that. Trying to keep my job. Oh, right. Yeah, that was a channel update, wasn't it? Mm hmm But yeah, turn like the 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 clip for this is unusually deceptive. It says straight down the chute past the shell. Now, my dumbass interpreted this that is go through all three screens without stopping once. No, that's not the case at all. I believe on this screen you have a shell that you could just go to. Nope. I'm dumb. Let's just leave that one in, huh? I think I only do it once because I was like, wait a minute, did I just fest- Ah, oh, I did. And I will say, um, editing might be goofy with these sets of videos because I'm trying to learn Vegas Pro 14 because I got it from, like, Humble Bundle for, like, five bucks. That program's weird, man. How's it weird? Uh, I'm so used to Premiere that I don't know any of the editing stuff, like the shortcuts and shit. If it makes you feel better, I don't know any of it. Oh. It's funny because uh, somebody I somebody I work with in LP was actually saying, man, now you know, now you know how I feel about Premiere. I'm like, but Premiere's good. It makes sense. The yeah, shell you're looking for is right here. There's shells all over the forest. Yeah, so it's really hard to figure out where past the shell could be. Why are there shells all over the forest, by the way? Snails, dude. I haven't seen a snail in this entire forest. They're all dead. This is a decent ability. It's nice because it has heavy hit stun and pushes people, but you can fall into a trap of being dependent on it. As opposed to being dependent on the grapple? I mean, the grapple's fucking broken. It's fun, that's the difference. You just upgrade it fully, you can huck around the cauldron for a solid 10 seconds. Well, let's stop this arm again and we just suplex the, uh, <laughs> the plot device. That's all you ever needed to do! Nah, nah, we gotta follow the prophecy. This is all about subverting fate by playing- by falling straight into it. Subvert fate by wrestling. <laughs> Don your lucha mask, fucker. We're subverting fate. You can't fight fate, but you can pin it for a three count. Ooh, a human! I'm lost in this okay, so why aren't the fairies forest? all attacking this one? Be because he has out. money. I mean, wait. I'll pay no. you if you leave me alone. Okay. Ah, uh, here's my other backup plan. That shit's never gonna get de-equipped willingly. <laughs> Just another safety net. Oh yeah. When, when you're me, you need safety nets. It seems like it. Then again, I can't blame you because it's again heroic mode, but at the same time, I feel like it could still be more fun. Mm, yeah. I, I have a bad habit of always playing safe. I know, I've seen your streams. We've all seen Darkest Dungeon. Uh, I had to work so hard to make you quad dog. It's sad, too, because... Only only people in a Twitch stream are going to see the quad dog, because Twitch ate a bunch of the archives and I can't upload them. Ah, uh, but it was the best. Barkus Dungeon. Yeah. You can tell we're trying to fill commentary up until the next fight. Yeah, there's nothing happening. You're wandering in a forest full of assholes. Backstab's a really good ability. How do you backstab with a chain, anyway? I mean, I guess you just tuck the chain out. Don't ask still. questions! Now here's a mess of a fight. I believe this is a three-phase fight, but hey, Spiral Drive really good. Yeah, see, every one of her you just like Spiral Drive's really good when you said it's okay just a second ago. We have not had a bad grade on any of her skills yet. It's it's kind of boring in a way, but it helps that it does so much damage. It, it's not like Mercedes where you just spam the slide move over and over. Which one was that on Mercedes? Oh, right. The one that you spammed, because it was the good one. I was thinking of Gwendolyn for some reason. Oh, 
I love the collateral damage from that sling I do. chain as well. How do, you, how do you ground her? Grab one of her allies and swing it at her. Like, how do, you, how do you stop someone from flying? Just baseball swing your friend into them. Yeah. Yeah. You, you attack another person with another person. The, to fight with a man. To fight with a man. That was always kind of the one thing I wish they did more of in No More Heroes, is emphasize the wrestling a little bit more instead of just making it a finisher. Again, wrestling is kind of amazing in most games. So I've noticed all the way that all of these rooms are essentially circles you fight in, right? Yeah. Odin Sphere. Ow. My pride. I just realized something. What? What if this whole game is about Baylor? <laughs> the old, the wicked eye Baylor. It is the, it is the Odin Sphere. Yeah. Now here's the hardest fight in this mission. I I I hate this. Oh oh, this is going to be oh wait yeah this is going to be good. So as we mentioned before, challenge missions are kind of tough just by merit of they give you three, two or three of a thing to fight, and it's kind of irritating because of the. Uh... Are they paladins? No, thank fuck no. Ooh man, if it was paladin, that suck. Why am I making toxics? I have a whirlwind, make kill cloud. Oh well, actually no, these guys don't get pulled by by a hurricane. But, insurance. That I doesn't stand for ice spirits, it stands for insurance. I mean, same thing, but yeah. Am I out of basic materials? I think you might be. That's a first. You're really using a lot of potions on Velvet. Oh yeah. Well, I use a lot of potions in general. Because the game rewards here? you with... I'm saving because I'm... Whenever I do missions, the challenge missions, I'm never confident. Just gonna leave that one on the recording then, huh? Eh, it's like, what, three seconds? Who cares? Is it that bad of a challenge mission? In my opinion, yeah. Are you sure you want to challenge this powerful foe highway? Because it's two mushrooms. That actually sounds really fun. I mean, when, when you're normally playing, yeah. Like... This game on hard is actually really fun. I can't complain about it. But like, when you're doing shit like I'm doing right now, this shit sucks. This is the worst. If only you could huck him. Oh man, wouldn't that be great? Hey look, more insurance. Out of the fucking way I want that. Go away. If it helps, he got out of the way the moment he asked. I'm just gonna go around the entire map here. It's fine. I don't know why you just kept running from me. Oh, I know why. Because I didn't want. Because if I ran past him, he would stop his uh, ball state almost immediately, and I would have to deal with him and um, the other one at the same time. Oh man, that's a hell of a cloud. Just throw another one for good measure too. Why not? It's a lot of damage. Look at that shit. Yeah, no, it's amazing. She really is Apparently, good at the alchemy. Apparently, poison mushrooms are weak to poison. Apparently. Uh, it's a different poison. Yeah. Similar, but distinctly different poisons. Yeah, unfortunately, when I used Spiral Drive there, I walked right into the mini guy's torpedo attack. Yeah, I noticed. That was the weird change that always throws me off in this game. When Muramasa, if you ever activate a skill, you're invincible the entire time. In this game, you're not but you have a three, like, a three chain dodge, which is just as good. Yeah, it really seems a lot like the attack in question is what depends on how much high frame you have. Oof. Those things last um, a while, don't they? Yeah, that's the big problem, and they have a lot of HP. And if you notice, they're both the chuffed right now. Yeah, I noticed by the slew of mushrooms coming at you. I would like to play the video game, please. No more mushrooms. God damn it. I'm just gonna go this way, because this is just an orb. 
These beefy funguses. Apparently that thought that was entirely too unfair. By the way, um, you could do spiral drive in the air. You could I also noticed. do um, you could also do a. Funnily enough, you could do the chain in the air, but you can't um, can't do them consecutively. You've effectively become a drill. You realize? Oh yeah. All these chains make a drill. Yeah. That See, being said, all things this went by relatively easily. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it was that hard to me. I was about to say that this actually seems pretty tame, all things considered. Uh, to, just to put it in the to um, just to put it into perspective, I had to burn two insurance potions. I know, but I feel like you could have avoided that by not walking on the huge slew of mushrooms. Yeah, the the thing is, a lot of those things just it's it's so easy to walk into those, especially when they're just like ah here have half a here have a screen and a half of mushrooms. You're never gonna get close to me. Yeah, that that does seem it's it's a little anti fun, but at the same time, Velvet can just swing from the ceiling anyway, right? Yeah, though in my circumstances. Hey, look at that! Um, what do you know? Freeze! It's the fairy police. How dare you intrude in the palace while my mother is away? Oh look, you're under arrest here to be terrible. <laughs> you're under arrest for looking oh, too no. beautiful. Princess Mercedes, what? You? Grandfather, did something? Are you happen? ready for politi a political thief arguing? The knights and snuck yeah, into a the thief palace. defeated the knights, huh? This woman is that? I just killed like two hundred of your goons, I princess. I think you don't want to stop me. You have something of ours. Return when? My mother's ring immediately. What now? When did we take what the ring? Was that? Is that the ring to trail? I guess we took it off screen. This ring is at the center yep. of this debacle. It belongs to oh, Valentine. Plot. That's right. This abominable treasure has no place with fairies. It seems there's more to this. I story. disagree. But you are mistaken. The rightful owner of that ring surrendered it to us. It is ours. King Valentine passed away during the disaster. Your lies are transparent. I tell no lie. The ring was given to our queen by the surviving prince ah. of Valentine. I love the dramatic pause there. Like you're not, like you're English being an asshole. Ingway. Yep. Even if that's the case, I cannot return the ring. Well, bye. You are not going anywhere! What I'm wondering Guards! is, Guards! like, wouldn't it be better if the fairies had the ring? Not really. I mean, it would be out of... Eh, yeah. It would be the same problem as Odin's basically doing, wouldn't it? Yeah, exactly. They're just gonna use it for their own gain either way, which is gonna cause more problems. You want these yeah. assholes all over the continent? No. On the right side, we get to beat at Mercedes, which is always a bonus in my book. Wait, you Again. can't, you can't just yep. fling her around. No, she's considered a boss. Ergo, she has the heavy trait. A little silly. It is idiotic, I know, but that would have been really satisfying too. They don't want you to chump a boss by spamming iframe moves. I'm just saying to tuck Mercedes around like a ragdoll for about ten seconds would be really fun. I, we got our validation with uh, Oswald. True enough, true enough. Those were good times six months ago. Those Halcyon days when I could LP nonstop. And then suddenly you stop for six months. You really went cold turkey, didn't you, Highway? Uh I mean I did I did Hollow Knight. But then for like two months I just had to stop because I was worried uh, about keeping my job. That was the one I didn't watch. Because you already watched it. Not even that. I'm just not that interested in Hollow Knight. It's a good game, just it's not one that has an aesthetic I enjoy. That's fair. It really does feel like... I don't know. Did the fight go better here? Because I remember Oswald, despite being easy, I had a hard time actually hitting Mercedes because she kept running away. Well, that's because your main damaging move is a rushdown move. Yeah. Spiral Dive is wrecking her face. I think Oswald has... Yeah, Oswald has something to that affair, too, but I just... I think it's just because I haven't let her stay in the air. Yeah, that's part of it, too. She's been on the ground most of the fight, and that's... Her strength is not on the ground, as it turns out. Go figure. They don't let her have those folks. 
you can't stop her. Like, the game actively overrides your uh, absorb for hers. See, that seems kind of silly, doesn't it? Well, I shouldn't say actively overrides, it's just that she could do hers instantly while yours has a wind-up, and then it prioritizes her because of it. Ooh, that was a good fireball. Yes, indeed. Juggle? Juggle. See, how long can you do the juggle? That's the question. Um, dash attacks and uppercuts have a limit of three. But the uh, problem is, Mercedes is weird! Like, her, her dash attack, the thing where she slings and then pulls herself towards the enemy... That's not Mercedes, that's Velvet. Velvet, thank you. It's hard to tell when there's two fucking player characters fighting each other, but yeah. Her her uh, dash attack pulls you past your target. I so know. you have to turn around and uppercut again in order to keep the juggle going. <laughs> I was like, do I want to use Dancing Chain in such a lame fashion? No. It's your bunny hopping away right after that. Okay, see, I feel like that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, sometimes you just punch through an enemy. It's really weird. Oh, well. And now we eat, we eat her soul. Yeah, I mean, she'll get up, she'll be fine, walk it off. Hey, guys, I'm back. I'm relieved that you're all right. We were worried. Master. Where's my stupid-ass brother? We, we can't let ourselves <laughs> be did something Fury. dumb. We have to hide. So this is the ring that can stop the cauldron. This whole area is a war zone right now. No one will be able to come. Really hard for to it. tell. You know, if you drop a ring in a war zone, if it's a war really zone, it means something is caused. Somebody's going to find a ring on the ground. I know not the king's. So, yeah, the best way to hide it is but just like dig a little tiny hole, the cauldron, drop the ring in, and then again. time will take care of the rest. The yeah, it's like a, people always wanted to just, the one just, just fucking bury it. In life. Though I think, um, Velvet. they did mention at, in the but earlier game, Valentine's like, the ring calls to me, I know where it is, give me the ring. Oh, hey, anyway. I cannot believe what I'm hearing. I did not give you that chain, so... So, I, I was having, like I had a little thief. epiphany in between these anyway. episodes, and it's kind of amusing to me. Um, I know you don't like Critical Role as well, at all, but how I had I had a realization that Liam O'Brien just used this character in Let the first season of Critical Role. Is that so? Give me the ring. Um, his character is a twin how to another you know character who is both the royalty of a of a, of a king who twins. abandoned them. There is nothing you can hide um, from me. You said that his character is somewhat morose and fatalistic, much like Ingwe. Knife user, if like Ingwe. The so only difference is that the character in Critical Role is an away. elf, while this guy is just blonde. I mean, he acts pretty Don't elfy. At me like that. So I'm yeah, just I'm just sitting there like, did, did you know Brian just take Ingwe? I've upset you. Maybe. No one Please. would notice, except just for you, apparently. <laughs> I'm the only one I, ha I Look at my wall with all the red string all over it. <laughs> They're connected in some way. Oh, look, it's, everyone just fucking walked away on I them. will eventually. Well, all stage plays first, off the way. Ingwe's gonna have a monologue. The prattling of those old men who talk of nothing but Tichrel. When you have a knife, you can just kinda... You just stab them. I mean, they'll teleport away, but they won't talk to you after that. Well, we'll still talk... We'll still keep talking about Tichrel. Also, we really didn't get a good skill from, uh, this. Yeah. I imagine that we're, we were pretty late on, pretty light on the plot the past episode or two here. It'll get more as we go on. Yeah. Just a lot of it right now is to troll this, to troll that, faith this, curse that, but end of the world, end of the world, end of the world, and it'll it'll piece together pretty fast, quite rapidly. But yeah, I actually don't remember what's next on Odin Sphere again. My apologies, folks. We'll find out next time. Bye. Bye.